Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. Solution. Okay, so this is what we have. X squared plus 100 over X squared plus 1 equals 100. Now, I want us to, you know, introduce another number that will make it simpler for us to factorize. We have x squared plus 1 here, so I want to introduce 1 to both sides. So that will be x squared plus 1, then plus 100 over x squared plus 1 equal to 19 plus 1. Okay, so since I introduced this one here, it has to reflect on the right or else the equation will change. Now, the next thing we'll do now is replacing x plus 1. Okay, you can even have this in bracket and then have this in bracket so that anywhere you see x squared plus 1, you will use y for it. So let y be equal to x squared plus 1. So here now, I'm going to have y, then plus, here I have 100, we have another x squared plus y, so here becomes y, and the whole of this is equal to 19 plus 1, and that is 20. From here, let's clear out the fraction, as y will multiply everything. So it's going to be y times y, which is y squared plus y will cancel itself from here. We have 100. Then this will be equal to 20 times y, which is 20y. Now we are having a quadratic equation. Let us, you know, arrange it properly so that we will have y squared minus 20y plus 100 equal to zero. So this is a quadratic equation and we can solve this using any of the method, let's say the Fermilab method or even factorization method because 10 minus 10 here is, minus, sorry, minus 20 here is minus 10 minus 10 and minus 10 times minus 10 will give us plus 100. So let's break it down. We have 1 my squared, then minus 10y, minus 10y, then plus 100 equals 0. So minus 10y minus 10y will give us minus 20y. Okay, then minus 10 times minus 10 will give us plus 100. Now we will group into two and factorize. Pick these two first. What is common to them is y. So if y goes out, here we have 1y minus 10 then here we have minus 10 as the common factor we have 1y then 100 divided by minus 10 is minus 10 and this will be equal to 0 now let's continue we will pick terms outside of the bracket together so we have y minus 10 we'll bring them together then the one in the bracket will factor out one of them which will be y minus 10 and this will now be equal to 0 so let's apply 0 product rule from here y minus 10 is equal to 0 or y minus 10 is equal to 0 right so this means that y minus 10 is equal to 0 on both sides and from here what do we do we understand that y is equal to 0 plus 10 and then our y is equal to 10. But the question is, were we looking for the value of y? Nope. We're not looking for y, rather we're looking for x. But we say that y is equal to um, x squared plus 1. Okay, let's go back there. Where is the place again? Okay, see it here. When we said let y be equal to x squared plus 1. So we brought that back here. So now that y is um, is 10, so I'll have 10 here, which will be equal to x squared plus 1. If I collect like terms, I have 10 minus 1 to be equal to x squared, 
right so this means that 9 will be equal to x squared and what we should do is to make sure that um, to make sure that the basis or the powers are the same so that the basis will also be equal 9, 9 is 3 squared which will be equal to x squared now we have the same power therefore the basis should be equal so this means that our x is equal to 3 so this is the value of x that will satisfy the given equation and if you use that second equation as well the second um okay let's look at it here if we use this as well our x will still remain 3 now let's go back and check to know if we're right or wrong the original equation is x squared plus 100 over x squared plus 1 equal to 19. Now, I want us to deal with the left-hand side and see. So, x squared here now becomes 3 squared. Plus here we have 100 over 3 squared plus 1. Let's continue with this. Now, this will give us 9 plus 100 over 9 plus 1, right? Okay, now let's continue with it here. We're going to have 9 plus 100 over 10. Now, we continue with this so that at the end of the day, we find the LCM. The LCM here is 10. 10 divided by 1 is 10 times 9 is 90, right? Okay, so we have 90 plus 10 divided by 10 is 1 times 100 is 100. So at the end of the day, we are going to have 90 plus 100 is 190 over 10, right? Okay, so we have 190 over 10. And then this can go, and then we'll have 19 at the end of the day. But then, what does this mean? This is a confirmation that x is equal to 19. Okay, x is equal to 3. Satisfies the given equation, which is x squared plus 100 over x squared plus 1 is equal to 19 so thank you very much for watching and if you've learned something new just share this to others to learn